So today I am going through how I prep and prepare for school workshops because I have uh, one school this week, one school next week, and then a buttload of schools <coughs> and a buttload of schools during book week. So what I'm doing today is all the pre-prep. Um, I'm gonna shoot some during the actual school visit if I can, and then I'm gonna shoot some afterwards to see how it all went. Today for the pre-prep, what I need to do is, firstly, I need to make a giant gold star. Why you may ask? Well, I need a giant gold star. I went and bought a super <laughs> amazing, in my opinion, a super amazing spinning wheel. It's basically a prize wheel. I've called it the Wheel of Fortune. It's the middle of it is really boring and I just wanted to make it look really cool. So I'm gonna put a giant star on there. <laughs> Secondly, I need to choose some artworks to go on the walls to show the kids. Thirdly, I need to put together my presentation. Now, because this is a new workshop, I haven't done it before, so I want something to kind of guide me along, as well as have some visual aids for the students as well, which is super helpful anyway. Um, but I just want to put something together so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting up all my shapes now, doing it very carefully so I end up with a beautiful, gorgeous, glittery star. So I'm just putting together my presentation, which includes small video elements as well. Uh, it's got lots of pictures and lots of very useful information. Okay, so for my presentation, I want to take the kids through different stages of illustration. So basically, I am going from the start to the finish of being a children's book illustrator and what you have to do within those processes. Now, usually whenever I start off a session, I talk about who I am and what I do, so they kind of have a context of what I'm talking about, which is helpful. <laughs> I then go into characters and how I create those, then moving on to storyboards and how I turn the story into a storyboard, um, then going into the final illustrations, so the large scale drawings and the final artworks. Then I talk really briefly about post-process, so they can kind of get an idea of what happens after you've finished illustrating the book, um, and what happens in um, a publishing situation, and what happens in an indie press situation. So it's all very good information about being an illustrator, basically. Hopefully it's useful and hopefully they enjoy it. I've tried to make it quite interactive so it's not really boring, it's not all on the screen, there's things for them to do, and hopefully they like it. <laughs> so I'm just choosing what artworks I want to take with me. So I'm actually mainly choosing them for the size. I want them all to fit into my portfolio, which is A3 size, so A3 size artworks it is. So these are my stickers and other merchandise. I'm just making little piles of them for each student. I've even got some miniature unicorn pins to give away as prizes. Good morning. So I am at the school that I have to be at today. I really want to take you in, but I'm not sure. I don't think I can film inside because it's a school. But yeah, I've got some really great workshops organized today. I've got two big ones, they're both an hour long. And I am really excited, really nervous as well because these are new workshops that I haven't done before, so I haven't run through them yet. Uh, but I'm really excited. As you can see, I'm chilling in the troopy because I am so early, so early, like an hour and a half early, really early. So I think I'm gonna go try and find a cafe in Frankston. Um, and yeah, get some breakfast because I left mine on the table. Classic sunshine style. This is my classroom set up for the day. Hey, Percy's like making a really loud noise right now because I've got so loud. Why are you not getting me out? Anyway, okay, so it is now the next day. Um, it was amazing. I had such an amazing time yesterday at the school. Um, <laughs> I wanted to film the rest of this um, during the afternoon after I came back. So it was like real and live, but I was so exhausted. I literally went to bed at like eight o'clock and slept for like 12 hours. But it was so much fun. The students were really great. They were really engaged. Um, <laughs> really quiet, like kind of disturbingly quiet. And I apologize to them because I did tell them they were being quiet so many times, but you have no idea how intimidating that is being in a room of people that you're trying to talk to and they're not saying anything, but I get it. I, I get it. Like this was like a festival thing. So the, the students that were there, they didn't know each other. So it was kind of a weird environment anyway. And here's this crazy illustrator that's come in um, just to talk to you. And she keeps telling you to just 
stop being so quiet. And you're like, you're crazy, I don't know anyone here. So I get it, I do get it. But it was really great. I had such a good time. I had some really good feedback. Um, they are just so smart. Like, seriously, they all could be illustrators. They're amazing. It's such a different experience going in and talking to students that are older because they just get it. And you just you just talk to them like normal people. It's it's just nice and they they just get it. everything that you're saying. They just get and they just do it. And some of them, they they're just incredible like perspective and just the talent of their level of drawing is just, ah, I was just blown away I was blown away I promised myself that I would actually talk about really productive things <laughs> and things that I could improve on um, so I've asked myself the question how did I think the material went the new material I think it went really well it was quite informative but it wasn't so structured that the kids couldn't react to it. Okay, um, I want to talk about what I think I would do differently next time. I definitely wouldn't pick on the students so much about being so quiet because I feel quite bad. I also need to make another star because uh, one of my friends told me before I left that if I made the star so big and outside the surface area of this plastic doodad that it would get wrecked. And guess what? It got wrecked. I hate it when people are right. I'm just not gonna tell them. Yeah, so I'm gonna remake my star. One thing I think I will do next time is make sure I get in a little bit earlier and have a bit more time to prepare. Uh, did feel a little bit rushed at the end there. So the first session, like I only had half the things filled in on my, my Wheel of Fortune and there's a few bits and pieces still I had to do. So I need to time manage that a bit better, I think. And the second session I had to move places. I think I need to get better at asking people for help because I was really struggling to get everything set up in the second session because I had to move locations but that's that's just something I have to learn for myself instead of going no 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 everything's fine I need to accept help when I, I need it I think that's it I think that's it everything else went quite well obviously I'm growing and changing and learning through every workshop and as I say I don't do high school students very often so it was really nice to kind of get that sort of feedback from a different age group so I guess it's onwards and upwards to the next workshop uh, this was the only one I had that was high school students so all the next are primary school which is great I do love the primary school students I really hope that they'll get more jazzed about the uh, wheel of fortune than the high school kids did because I think they were like oh my god that's so lame I get really excited about spinning wheel apparently they didn't um. If you're interested in having me come to your school and do a school workshop, let me know, hit me up, get your teachers in on it, and I will come and do a workshop at your school. I do school workshops throughout the year, it can be any time, so let me know, the details are below. So that is it for today. I have a couple more school workshops in the future, so one next week, and then I have quite a few in book week as well, which is very exciting. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed just kind of my process of getting ready and what happened afterwards. Um, school workshops are a really big part of my job and I love them, so it's really nice to share them with you. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will chat to you very soon. Bye.